Hello there. In this lecture, we'll see how to work with Avro files uh, or how to load Avro files into a data frame. Uh, let's just create a new job working with Avro file format. Now let me create a main method def main args array string unit now I have to create a spark session uh, let me just open some other file and create a spark session that will create with the name spark now let me just shift import the packages I have the packages as well ready now now I I'll just go to my uh, local place. I have created this. Now let me just uh, go to my sample data, uh, which is this um, the same directory now. And I'll see uh, I have a file called customer.avro. Right? Uh, so let me try to load uh, the Avro file. Well, data Avro data frame is equals to I'll use spark dot read dot and I'll see if there is any Avro file format available. I don't have, I don't see any Avro file format, right? Uh, so let me just uh, try to mention the format and I'll try to use Avro. I'll mention that format as Avro and once I, if I mention the format as Avro, I have to use a load method to load the file, right? Now uh, I'll go to the current directory. What is, this is the current directory. In this directory, I have customer dot avro. Right? This is my file. Now what I have done, I have created the Spark session, and in under the Spark session, I'm trying to create a data frame uh, with the avro file format, uh, which I have uh, in my location. Right? To mention what format I'm trying to load, I have mentioned as uh, dot format and avro and I'm trying to load the file whatever I have here. Now uh, let me try to print the schema of the Avro file dot print schema. Let's see if uh, our job runs successfully. Run scale application and now I, we got an ex SQL exception, uh, SQL analysis exception stating fail to find the data source Avro, right? Uh, we are not able to find uh, or Spark doesn't support Avro file format out of the box, right? For this, what we have to do is there's an alternative or there's an uh, external jar file available for loading Avro file, for, uh, Avro file format. Either we have to add the Avro dependency in form.xml or we can add a, a library uh, to the build path. As we have built our, uh, our, Maven, our project as a Maven, let me try to uh, add a Maven dependency for form.xml. So let me go to Google and uh, go to MVN repository. I'll go to MVN repository where I can download Maven dependencies. I'll search for Spark Avro. And you can see the first hit I got is Spark Avro. And whatever version we have here, underscore 2.11, or uh, here you can see underscore 2.10, right? As I uh, told in my, as I explained in my previous uh, lectures, uh, this 2.10 and 2.11 are uh, Scala versions of uh, uh, the package, right? Whatever we are using now, we are using Scala version 2.11. So I'll go with Avro 2.11 and uh, there are different versions of uh, Avro jar file or dependency available and I'll go with the latest version which is this. I have copied it and now I'll update in my Maven dependency. Command Shift uh, F or Control Shift F for formatting and uh, my project is being built now. Now my project is built uh, properly. Uh, where is this? I'm working with Avro file form. Uh, my project is built properly now. Now uh, let's try to run the project, run the job. Uh, 
and I am still getting the Avro file format is not uh, available. The reason for this is whatever uh, Avro for file format we have downloaded from the Maven dependency, it is under the package. Uh, we have to use something like com dot data bricks dot spark dot Avro. This is where our Avro file. Uh, uh, parser is available in the package which we have added in our form dot dependency right uh, now uh, I have given this okay here I have not changed the app name I'll change it to working with Avro file format okay now I'll run the code again And uh, now you can see I'm able to load the file and uh, the data frame is created and I'm able to see the schema as well. Let's uh, try to uh, avro df dot show and I'll try to show uh, the top five rows and uh, I'll also try to print row count. Row count avro df dot count now let's run the code again and you can see the schema over there and you can see the count as row count as 100 and I can see top five rows of the uh, file format right so this is how you try to uh, this is uh, so this is how you can load an Apple file format by adding a Maven dependency or uh, if you are not creating a Maven project what you can do you can download the jar from here directly click on the download jar you can download the jar from the Maven repository itself and you can save it right this Maven dependency jar can be added to the library or a build path and you can run the job right okay this is how you uh, uh, read or uh, uh, work with the Avro file, right? Suppose if you want to write the Avro file again, file format again, same thing you have to use. Suppose Avro DF dot, uh, if you want to write it, I'll write it and I want to mention what format it supports. Out of the box part won't support, so we have to m mention explicitly what format we have to use it. I will be using Avro file format to save it and I'll save under. Uh, Path, not path, uh, right? Avro format and save, and I'll mention SRC test resource. Uh, have other dependency, I have others. Yeah, output destination is there, right? I'll save it over there. Output destination. slash uh, customer underscore avro okay i am writing the avro file over there let's see here i don't have a customer avro i'll refresh the project and show you i don't have avro file over here. now let me run the code again job is running and it is complete now let's uh, refresh the project again and I can see customer underscore avro and I can see this time it's creating a file of part with some extension called dot avro okay that's it for this lecture guys and uh, see you in the next lecture bye guys